Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from iSocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Twitter advanced search. How can you use Twitter advanced search to generate some leads for your business? It's a very powerful feature of Twitter platform and guess what? Not many people know about this and not many people use this. So that's the topic of today's video. Before we jump into the demo, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump into this and we're actually going to take some examples and use cases uh, that I'll walk you through in this video today. So here I am, I'm signed into the Twitter. And first of all, here is the, the normal Twitter search right here, you know, on the top right hand side. So let's make some, let's make an assumption. Let's say you are a furniture store or maybe electronic store you sell furniture and electronic. By the way, the reason I'm giving that example is because I have some clients who do that, right? So here is what you can do. And also, let's say I live in Dallas, and you know, let's say let's assume that if you are a local business, you're not like a global business, you are a local business, and you know, work with the people in your city, or that's your audience. So if you are a furniture store, so think about what are potential keywords or hashtags your audience might be using. That is the key. Let me repeat. What are the potential keywords or hashtags? your audience might be using on Twitter. So for example, if I'm a furniture store owner and I have electronics and furniture and other stuff, one thing that you know people might be talking about is, hey, new TV, I need a new TV, or I want a, a Super Bowl is coming up, I want a new TV to watch Super Bowl. So there might be, there might be some conversation around these topics. I'm gonna search for that. And when you do that, so here's the option. So search filters from people, from anyone, and also the location anywhere or near you. So if you're a local business, this is very important. You can select the near you. And what you will notice is these results right here, they change. Now, I am gonna click on advanced search and just kind of walk you through some of these options. And here's the powerful thing. Sometimes you don't even have to use the advanced search and the Twitter search itself is very powerful. And actually, if you step back, it's very, a lot of people use Twitter. And especially if your audience is super active on Twitter, this is very powerful because people on Twitter, they share their opinions, they share their experiences. And if you can figure out the biggest question, what is my audience? What type of keywords or hashtags they're using? If you can figure that out, then you can connect with these people and then really, you know, generate some leads for your business. All right, now let's click on this advanced search. And here are, you know, all the options available. Let me quickly walk you through this. So all of the words, so I want to search for new TV. You know, you can do exact phrase. So let's do this. Any of the words, none of these words. Also, you can add hashtags, the language. Let's say if you're, um, you know, your audience is Spanish or French, then you can set that. And also you can track if these tweets are coming from specific accounts accounts so that is a lot of cool stuff do you want to include replies do you want to see links you know i want to disable links why because mostly bloggers businesses marketers consultants they include links normal people people who are gonna buy my furniture store my tv or other things they're probably not gonna include links they're just having conversation right you can also have minimum engagement and also like dates to uh, add dates. Let's say if you want to search in the window of like last week or last month, you can do all of that. So hit search. Let's make sure, yeah, I still have like a near you, perfect. So now look at this. So I'm gonna actually go to the latest because I want to see the recent conversation. <laughs> this is awesome. So this person right here, getting our new TV installed right in time for Grammy's night. Awesome, right? So this person got a new TV. So if I'm a furniture store and let's say I have couches or sofas on discount, I can totally reply to this or in you know, a comment and say, hey, congratulations on the new TV. We'd love to see. And by the way, you know, you have a new TV in your living room. How about getting 
a new sofa or a new couch and guess what we have a discount or we have a campaign going on right now so you can totally get into the conversation with this people uh, this person and you know offer your discount and in this case it's not even promotional or spammy because it's relevant you're talking to first you're congrat- congratulating him on getting the new TV and then you're kind of you know taking the conversation to next step look at it so it looks like that's a, a, a brand if you need new TV recommendation you know you, they're kind of like plugging themselves in Let's just keep going. So I can. So this person right here is I can't afford new TV. I feel I need to. Do you know the whole? I probably won't be able to take more than thirty seconds. I'm broke. I can't afford new TV. So imagine. Sometimes people run like crazy Black Friday deals, or they're called lost leader deals. So this guy can't afford new TV, but if you have something that's like crazy discounted price. or maybe you know my furniture store or electronics store also has used stuff so this might be a relevant conversation to get in right here again you know i love the new tv same here a lot of time when people buy new tvs they are buy new furniture maybe they they moving they're new in town maybe they change the apartment so there's a lot of thing once you understand the context of the conversation there's a lot of time and things you can plug in look at that i rather have rather buy a new tv lazy boy have my house party created finally my, i got my new tv set up so this is a very relevant conversation for electronic store or a furniture store imagine you know that also when people buy new tv what other electronic stuff do they buy are they do they buy dv uh, dvrs i don't know i'm just making this up sometimes people buy um if they're cutting the cord they may want to buy antenna or like other you know sound system or a lot of other stuff oh look at that nice spend about 2 hours mounting a new tv to turn it on and then see that the the screen is broken. So obviously this person had a bad experience from their the place they bought the TV. Imagine you could say, "Hey, you know, contact us and we have new TVs on discount and by the way our installation team will come and install for free if that's a service that you offer, right?" Super super pop. All right, so that was the example of let's say for a furniture store or electronics store. Let's take another example. Let's say you are a um a restaurant right and let's go to the go back to the advanced search and i want to say if i have a restaurant and my target audience what are they potentially saying on twitter so maybe they're saying hungry you know they're talking about like being hungry right and actually hungry for mexican food that's actually very specific i don't know what's going to come up but let's just go with it let's see what what happens <laughs> disable the link and search nothing there because that's just too too long so people may not be using that exact phrase if i search for hungry from anyone near you perfect <laughs> look at that right so latest yes so this person is hungry af <laughs> you know what af means right so if you are a restaurant in in the city hey cameron i believe we have lunch buffet on discount everything is you know our lunch discount or lunch special everything is like 9.99 i'm just making this up but you can totally get into the conversation with this person and drive that person give them a reason so the couple of steps right first you identify the audience who's talking about things that relevant to your business and then number 2 is step number 2 which is very important give them a reason to consider your business right don't just kind of be spammy and promotional right give them a reason i'm hungry i need lunch suggestion right so if you are indian restaurant you know hey why not try uh indian food for lunch today if you're a mexican restaurant hey come try our new tacos uh for 3.99 whatever that may be right so there's a lot of ways you can get into the conversation so you see how powerful this could be your main question that you want to think about for your business and your target audience what do you think your target audience is searching for what type of hashtag hashtag they're using on twitter 
find it make sure if you're local business make sure you have near you and do go to the advanced search because there, there are powerful features or criteria that you can use and one of them is disable the links because our target audience they most likely are not using the links people who are using the links are other businesses marketers consultants seo uh agency owners a lot of those uh promotional people right so i hope you're seeing how powerful the twitter advanced search is you can use this feature to find people who are having conversation that are relevant to your business and then creatively get involved in those conversation plug your business in and in this case it's not even that spammy because the conversation is relevant right so if you have any questions related to I'm planning on doing a lot of uh, a lot more twitter videos because I think twitter is very powerful to I know instagram snapchat used to be instagram tiktok is kind of like you know they're taking all the spotlight and people are kind of forgetting about twitter but if used right you can really use twitter to grow your business generate some leads. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.